good morning on this beautiful morning. I hope you're having a good day today. It's a little windy here, but it's very nice outside. So I'm going to read a book to you today called Try Again, Sally Jane. The story is by Mary Dieseltil Federson, and the pictures are by Yvonne Ashby. Okay, here we go. Try again, Sally Jane. Oh, it looks like a windy day, doesn't it? Oh, yes, look at all those leaves just blowing around, kind of like here today. Sally Jane was roller skating for the first time. And she was headed straight for the pond. Oh, dear. Look out! I can't stop. Uh-oh. I wonder what's going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. Uh-oh. Splash. Into the pond she went. Why won't these skates go where I want them to? She gurgled. I'll never learn how to skate. Sounds like she's a little discouraged. Sally Jane scrambled up onto the bank. She was wet from the top of her head to the tips of her skates. I'd rather be cleaning my room, she said to herself. <laughs> I don't think she meant it. Most of us don't like to clean our rooms, do we? Just then, a big green frog shot out of the pond. Oh, I wonder what he's about. My toe, sobbed the frog. Can't you be more careful? You squashed my toe. See what you've done. Sally peeked the frog's toe. Now she felt even worse. I'm so sorry, Sally Jane said. I really am. Sally Jane thought of the other kids twisting and turning and stopping when they were skating. They made skating look like a breeze. Skating isn't as easy as it looks, she sighed. It's that way with, with most things. When somebody is good at it, they make it look easy. But they had to practice a lot to get there. Not easy, croaked the frog. What is? Look at what I had to learn how to do. Jump. Dive. Eat flies. Do you think that was easy? Probably not. I'd imagine it'd be hard to catch those flies. Easy, called out a butterfly. What about me? I started out as a caterpillar. And then one day, there I was, crawling out of a tiny cocoon. My new wings were wet and all wrinkled. I had to stretch them and dry them and fly away all before a bird could gobble me up. Do you think that was easy? No, oh, probably not. Easy, squawked a pink flamingo. How does this sound? I had to learn to balance on one leg. And no belly flopping into the water. Do you think that was easy? I imagine not. Easy, cried a chameleon. Let me tell you, I had to learn to change color. That's how I hide. Once, a hungry hawk chased me into a tree. I turned green. 
a green chameleon in a brown tree? I changed to brown again quickly. I saved myself from becoming a meal. But do you think that was easy? Can you find the chameleon in gray and brown and even see his head in purple? That's pretty cool that a chameleon can change colors like that. Helps keep him safe. Easy, hissed a snake. Did you learn to shed your skin as you grew? Once, I forgot to grow new skin before shedding the old. I slid along on my bare bottom for a week. Do you think that was easy? Poor snake. Wow, cried the frog. What are these rolling things on your feet? They must have been hard to grow. What can you do with them? My skates, laughed Sally Jane. Not much, I'm afraid. If only they'd go where I want them to go, she sighed. I could whiz down the street. I would twist and turn and stop. But it's not easy to do. Not easy, cried out all the animals. Then try again, Sally Jane. Sally Jane skated. She whizzed down the street. She twisted, she turned, and she stopped. She made the skates go where she wanted them to go. You've got it, called out the pink flamingo. Hooray, cheered the chameleon. Go, Sally, go. Keep skating, said the snake. And the butterfly. Yow! cried the frog as she skated by. <laughs> she's done it again. Now she squashed my other toe. <laughs> Poor frog. And Sally Jane is skating away. Good job, Sally Jane. She kept trying until she got it. Good job.